Today, Huntington Bank pledged $100 million to renovate or create affordable housing. Business leaders hope this pledge creates a domino effect that shows faith in our state's economy. 24 Albany State's Ryan Takeo shows us how this development affects the residents with the new digs. I'm, I'm glad to come home to my casa. There's some good news on the horizon that say a lot, says a lot about bringing Michigan back. The good news came in the form of a pledge and lots of money. This $100 million, we believe between now and 2015, when we expect it to be fully drawn down, will generate over 3,000 housing units. 60 of the units were here, reflection to 500 Hall in Grand Rapids. Among the big names, like the Lieutenant Governor and the Mayor, was one of the most excited about the news. Because I live here. <laughs> At least Andre Sanford will live here again in two weeks. She and the other residents, like Joseph Wilkins, used to live at the old Madison Square apartments and had to move out of the senior living complex for almost one year. They say it was worth the wait. To come in here and spend the money that they have done and dwell in place to do what they have done, you know, to, to move us out of here for at least 10 months and gut this place out and build it back up for where you can come into this place and feel so relaxed. It's, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but it makes you feel like people care about you. Because of the recession and the economy, we've, we had a, uh, um, uh, a real severe shortage of cash and capital to be able to develop projects like this. The Institute of Art runs the dwelling place, the complex's developer. He needs loans for each project, which he says was trouble during the recession. Now, it's a little easier in our state. The neighborhoods where you live um, have a chance to uh, uh, get even better. No doubt those looking for loans are hoping that trend continues and becomes infectious, <laughs> like how she feels. I'm too excited. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just too excited. I'm Ryan Takeo, 24 Hour News Day.